Welcome to the end is Edu Corner and welcome to another math tutorial about determining the nature of the roots of quadratic equations using the discriminant. Alamin muna natin kung ano ang discriminant. Sa isang quadratic formula na x is equal to negative b positive negative square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, Ang radicand or ang expression na nasa loob ng ating square root symbol na b squared minus 4ac ay ang tinatawag nating discriminant. Sa pamagitan ng discriminant, malalaman natin ang nature of the roots ng isang quadratic equation. Narito ang mga kailangan nating tandaan sa paggamit ng discriminant. First, if b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0, or kung ang discriminant ay equal sa 0, ang roots ay real, rational, and equal. And since equal ang ating roots na makukuha, that can be considered as 1 real root. Next, if b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0, or kung ang discriminant natin ay positive, at the same time a perfect square, then our roots are real, rational, and unequal. So this time, we have unequal, ibig sabihin, we have two real solutions that are rational. Third, if our discriminant is greater than zero but not a perfect square, the roots are unequal and irrational. Meaning, mayroon pa rin tayong dalawang real solutions. Yun nga lang ang kaibahan niya sa kanina, ang ating solutions ay irrational. Pang-apat, kung ang value na makukuha natin sa b squared minus 4ac or kung ang discriminant natin ay less than 0, ibig sabihin, kung ang discriminant ay negative, the roots are not real or imaginary. Ibig sabihin, we have no real solution. Our first example is x squared plus 5x plus 4 is equal to 0. At ang ating given equation ay nasa standard form na. Let's have our guide para sa ating makukuhang discriminant. And kuhanin muna natin ang values ng a, b, and c. In this equation, ang value ng a is 1, which is the numerical coefficient of x squared. Ang value naman ng b ay positive 5. At ang value ng c ay positive 4. Now, let's use the discriminant in determining the nature of the roots of this quadratic equation. Discriminant is equal to b squared minus 4ac. Now, let's use substitution. Ang value ng b sa ating given equation ay 5. So, magkakaroon tayo ng 5 squared minus 4 times a. Ang a natin sa given equation ay 1. And then c, ang c natin in the given equation ay 4. Now, we have d is equal to 5 squared minus the product of 4. 1 and 4. Let us simplify this equation. We have d is equal to 25 minus 16 because 5 squared that is 25. And then 4 times 1 times 4 that is 16 times the negative sign here we have negative 16. Ngayon, simplify natin. 25 minus 16, that is equal to 9. So, our discriminant is 9. And 9 is a perfect square. Tignan natin dito kung ano magiging nature ng roots ng ating quadratic equation. Since ang d ay positive at perfect square, then, ang ating magiging 
roots are real, rational, and unequal. We have two real solutions. Let's have our second example. Our given is x squared minus 4x plus 5 is equal to 0. Again, ang ating given quadratic equation ay nasa standard form na. Kuhanin na natin ang mga values ng a, b, and c. The value of a here is positive 1, the numerical coefficient of x squared. The value of b, which is the numerical coefficient of x, is negative 4. And the value of c, dito sa ating constant term, ay positive 5. Now, let's get the discriminant. Let's use b squared minus 4ac. Using substitution, we now have d is equal to the square of negative 4 kasi ang b natin ay negative 4 minus 4 times a which is 1 times c which is 5. Let us simplify this equation. D is equal to 16 minus 20 because negative 4 squared or negative 4 times negative 4 that is positive 16. And then the product of 4, 1, and 5 is equal to 20 times the negative sign here we have negative 20. Let us simplify 16 minus 20 our discriminant is equal to negative 4. Now, if we have a negative discriminant, okay, the roots are not real or imaginary. So, sa x squared minus 4x plus 5 is equal to 0, we have no real solution or no real root. Next example, 4x squared plus 12x plus 9 is equal to 0. This is in standard form. Now let's identify the values of a, b, and c. The value of a here is 4, while the value of b is positive 12. At ang value naman ng c ay positive 9. Let's find the discriminant using substitution. D is equal to 12 squared because B is equal to 12 minus 4 times A which is 4 and then C which is 9. Let us simplify. D is equal to 12 squared that is 144 and then the product of 4 4 and 9 is equal to 144 times the negative sign, magkakaroon tayo ng negative 144. So, 144 minus 144, our discriminant is equal to 0. And kapag 0 ang ating discriminant, ang roots na makukuha natin ay real, rational, and equal. Ibig sabihin, Sa 4x squared plus 12x plus 9 is equal to 0, magkakaroon tayo ng one real solution. Bakit one real solution? Kasi nga, ang makukuha nating roots ay equal. So that is considered as 1. Let's proceed to our last example. x squared minus 6x is equal to negative 7. And this time, wala pa sa standard form ang ating given quadratic equation. Ayusin muna natin ito by using the addition property of equality. Let's add both sides by positive 7 para maging 0 ang nasa kabilang side ng ating equation. So kapag nakapag-add na tayo both sides, let's simplify. Negative 7 plus 7 that is equal to 0. And magkakaroon na tayo sa kabilang side ng x squared minus 6x plus 7. And this time, nasa standard form na ang ating quadratic equation. Let's identify the values of a, b, and c. The value of a here is 1. 
the value of B is negative 6. At ang value naman ng C ay positive 7. Let's get the discriminant. Using B squared minus 4AC, gumamit tayo ng substitution. D or discriminant is equal to the square of negative 6 kasi ang B natin ay negative 6. And then minus the product of 4, 1, and 7. Simplify. Negative 6 squared, that is 36. And then 4 times 1 times 7, that is 28. Times natin dito sa negative or subtraction sign. Magkakaroon tayo ng negative 28. 36 minus 28, our discriminant is positive 8. This is positive, pero hindi siya perfect square. Ibig sabihin, ang makukuha nating roots sa equation x squared minus 6x is equal to negative 7 ay unequal and irrational. Mayroon tayong two real solutions. That's it for our lesson regarding discriminant and the nature of the roots of quadratic equations. We hope that you subscribe to our channel for more tutorials.